we're here today because he's been a victim of solicitor financial elder abuse. that was due to me because of it stated animals which I owned and, and that is incorrect because I never owned any animals. Uh-huh. Now there were people that were not paid also like for instance Willie Pinrose TD was not paid for his opinion by, uh, since the, uh, whilst the estate was charged for same. Robert Marn solicitor um squandered the estate assets and hired an additional accountant at a cost of €8,750. When in fact we had, there was another accountant which was quite capable of doing all this work. But this was an additional accountant that he hired. Now, he also um, did not provide any detailed bill of costs for the fee of, for his own fee of over 40,892 euros, which he awarded to himself. Uh, the bill of costs were, uh, there was no bill of costs provided for TNN McGlynn solicitors as his own. And um, they were paid an amount of um, 38,000. Over over thirty eight thousand. Wow. Okay. A year, a year a year prior to the closing. Now, um, I just wish to say that um, prior to um, Mr. Marin closing it, uh, we wrote to him and you know regarding to, uh, trying to get our money because we were waiting for so long for this amount of money to get our share of the land sale and and for my brother to get his amount of grant money plus work done and services rendered and um, we asked him to go in in the letter we wrote to him we asked him to go to the court 
and to find out exactly how the estate should be, you know, divided up. Mm. And he wrote back and threatened us with a letter stating that he was closing us, or he he, he, uh, threatened us that we should go and get, uh, more or less take proceedings against him, or otherwise get a solicitor and take proceeding against him, or otherwise he was closing it at a certain date. Wow. That's the... That that is the story about it. So this is and absolute uh, absolute corruption, Eileen. I mean, this is a it is, yes, it is corruption. And I, and, I, mean, I and, and, and another thing I want to tell you uh-huh. is, we are having a peaceful pro- uh, protest on this Friday, and outside Mr. Maron's office in Castle Street in Mullingar. Right. And, and it's going to continue. It's going to continue until we get our demands met, which we are due. Yes, yes. No, no, yeah. it, it makes perfect sense. And listen, th- well done for standing up against these corrupt shysters, because... Shout all you want. You can protest all you like. Shout all you want. You can protest all you like.